We are going to continue with relationships between sets and we're going to now focus on Venn diagrams. You will find this on page 69 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Venn diagrams. We introduce three ways of expressing a set. By listing the elements, by describing in words, or using set builder notation. You will see that in the previous videos. Besides these two methods, we can also present a set visually by means of a diagram called a Venn diagram. We use a rectangle to represent the universal set. For subsets of the universal set, they are represented by closed curves such as circles or ovals drawn inside the rectangle. Say this is set A and this will be set B. So this will be integers and this will be natural numbers. In the Venn diagram above, A and B are two subsets of the universal set. A is integers and B is natural numbers. Natural numbers are a proper subset of integers. Okay, because integers, don't forget, can I just give you a few examples there? It's not to say it's all, but integers will be, um, let's say, negative 2. Okay, let's, let's just make the dots. 1, 2, 3. So it's negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Da, da, da. Whereby natural numbers will just be 1, not 0, otherwise it's whole numbers. So it's almost like it's only the positive part. And that's why it's a proper set of this integers. Okay, so natural numbers are proper sets of integers. Therefore, B, set B, is a proper set of A, and A, again, is a proper set of the universal set. Because in the universal set um, can be all the numbers. Okay. Now let's look at an example. Example 6. Let the universal set be all the alphabet letters up to I. And A will be A, C, E, G, and B will be E, F, G, H. Represent the set using a Venn diagram. So make your rectangle, write your E for the universal set. Make your two circles, they intersect. Um, A and B because if I look there, I can see, okay, what is in both? Um, it seems to me E is in both. Can you see that? And what is also G? So that's why they intersect. So I must write that to there. And then I see what's missing. I and C still in A. And in B, it's going to be F and H. And then I must just check what is not there. I, so it's actually best to just cross it out first and say A is already there. C is already there, E is already there, G is already there, E is already, um, F is already there, um, H is already there. So what will be left? It will be B, D, and I. And that's why I write it there. Okay. So the two sets A and B have one or more common elements. In this case, two. Okay. Therefore, they have a common region, the overlapping, the intersection in the Venn diagram. The elements B, D, and I, which are placed outside the two circles, do not belong to either A and B. They belong to the universal set and are not subsets of each other. Okay. Now, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now six. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, and they are actually only asking me to do also a Venn diagram. So the best always will be is first to start just with your rectangle. And then always, this is my universal, that's the E standing for. And then what is my set? It looks like R and S. And it's best always to first see if there's an overflowing because otherwise I draw it different. So in this case, um, let's see what will be the number that's in both. Um, try now six, I don't think that will be the one. So it's, it looks like three. Three will be in both. 
Okay, so if I start, then make a circle and make another circle. And this is now R and this is S. And now I start with the elements. Now what is in both? It looks like three. We can see if there's another one. Uh, one is not in both, so it's one. And then it's going to be um, eight and six. Okay, and there is going to be two and five. Now the best will be to see the rest is to cross out that number. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to start with this one and just go in, um, down the row. So it's going to be three, it's going to be eight, it's going to be one, and it's going to be six. And it's going to be two, and it's going to be five, and already have three. So what will be left, it looks only like four and seven. Okay, and there is your Venn diagram. Okay, let's look at try now, uh, first example seven. Now in this case, E is the colors of the rainbow, P is orange and red, Q is violet and D indigo. List the elements of E will be always good and if you struggle just google it okay then you will find it okay represent the sets using a venn diagram so this is going to be violet indigo blue green yellow orange red okay so now i make my set and i start see if there's one overflowing now in this case can you see there's not any one that's in p that's also in q so that's why i separate the two sets not an intersection so then I start orange and red, violet and indigo, and again I cross out, so it's always good to see. So orange is crossed out, red is crossed out, uh, violet is crossed out, indigo is crossed out. So what will be left? It will be blue, green and yellow. Okay, and then the two seats P and Q have no common elements, so they have a common region in the Venn diagram. Two seats which no common elements are called disjoint seats. Don't forget that. Maybe underline that for you. So just disjoint seats. Okay. So, and then P and Q are not subsets of each other. Okay, I want you to stop the video again and I want you to do try now seven. You can again continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's just do again my lines. Okay, and don't forget, this is my universal set. Okay, the set of senses. Now it will always be good first to write it out. Okay, maybe we can just do that first. So the set of senses, what will it be? Sight and taste and t touch and hearing. I'm just going to write here, hearing and smell. Okay, and don't forget, now they say X is sight, taste and touch, and this is smell. Can you see there's no, so it is again going to be just this joint set. So let's just go again to my two. And then again call this X, and then call this one Y. And then first fill in this one, X, so it's going to be sight. And it's going to be taste. And it's going to be sight, taste and touch. And then this one is just going to be one and that smell. Oh, now it's easy to see it, but still, just to make sure you don't taste, touch, smell, and the only one that's left is hearing. Now the spin again.
and that's again my final one and that's how I draw a Venn diagram.